What's up, guys? I'm Big Worm 380, and I'm back with Satisfactory. This is going to be a little bit different. This is the first major update and uh, for Satisfactory, so we're going to go over the patch notes. So as you can see, we're here on the Satisfactory website. They've got the end of April trailer, and they've got some cool little videos that show the uh, the update. So we've got the Explorer, which is an all-terrain vehicle. Uh, they've added maps to the game, so that's going to be good. Uh, sulfur research tier we've got a rifle so let's go ahead and get into these patch notes uh so let's go to the new features added the conveyor lift currently with placeholder visuals which means that i guess they're gonna be doing another pass on the visuals uh rebuilt rebuild or build a new factory with mark one through four of the vertical conveyor belt so that's going to come in handy if you're running out of space or you just want to build more vertical Added quartz research, new parts and recipes, quartz crystal, crystal oscillator. Explore vehicle. The vehicle is currently best suited for traversal. So this is probably not going to be the greatest thing for carrying a bunch of stuff, maybe. I don't even know if it has storage. I haven't actually got on and, and done that. I'm going to be making more videos with this update. Uh, but it's a dune buggy, so it, it should go pretty fast. In-game map. Enjoy revealing the game map via exploration and the radar tower. Okay, so that's huge. Uh, I've been I've been hoping they had a map or would come out with something for a map for for quite a while now. That's going to make it really nice. It's going to give you a better picture of where you're at and where you need to go and where stuff is. So they added the sulfur research, uh, new parts and recipes, sulfur, black powder, explosives, ammunition. The Novelist Detonator, blow up trees, bushes, rocks, creatures, and friends. Okay, so this is going to be real big too because if you're building if you're building your factory and you have a big old huge rock in the way, you can this this allows you to kind of almost terraform where it's not going to be in the way and or you don't have to build up above it, you know, and, and raise your whole foundation to get above the highest rock or tree or whatever. All right, moving on to balancing. They've added several new alternate recipes. Alternate recipes can no longer be handcrafted. So I have uh, I saw in a forum or on the bug page for Satisfactory that somebody was thinking that they lost their alternate recipes with this new update. But what it was, what it is, they can't be handcrafted no more. So that means when you go to your workbench in your hub, they're not going to be in there. They're only going to be available at the different machines that take those recipes. Moved all oil nodes in the Dune Desert, northeast corner of the map, to the Spire Coast, the coast west of the Dune Desert. Okay. Uh, adjusted purity of oil nodes in the Desert Canyons, east and west of the Northern Forest. Fabric recipe now requires biomass instead of leaves. Fix the milestone cost of the alternate heavy modular frame. Uh, I don't know if they made it more or less. I'm, I'm hoping less. That would be good. Clearance adjustments for several buildings to fit more snugly. So that's good. Uh, that means we'll be able to put, you know, squeeze a little bit more stuff into a certain space. Splitter and merger, smelter, constructor, and assembler, miners and oil pumps, and a few others. Adjusted the cost of programmable and smart splitter. Adjusted the cost of Katerium milestones two and three. Added alien organs research after alien carapace, making it possible to turn alien organs into medicinal inhalers. So well, that's going to be handy. Adjusted the cost of making med medicinal inhalers, more mycelia, less nuts. Greatly increased the amount of parts around crash sites for new games. Reduced catarium ore required to make catarium ingots from four to three. That's good. Reduced the quick wire cost of quick wire alternate recipes. Increase power pole mark two and three connections by one and two, respectively. Okay, so and then they increase the parts of some buildings and equipment your generators, your fuel generator and geothermal generator, manufacturer, miner mark two, oil pump and oil refinery, xenobasher, jetpack, and gas mask. So they did increase that a little bit. Hopefully, it's not by too much. Tweak the rebar gun damage. I hope they increase that a little bit because I found that thing to be kind of not real useful. Increase the duration that gas mass filters last. That's good. Um, I, I thought they kind of went pretty quick, really. Beacons can now be built in the manufacturer. Power shards can no longer be used as fuel. Conveyor belts max incline bumped from 30 to 35 degrees. 
so that's good. You can you can have them a little bit more steep before they uh, and they'll you'll still be able to place them. So there's a ton of bug fixes that they did, uh, and I read through these. There, I mean, there's just a ton of them here. I'll I'll just put it on the screen here, and if you want to pause and read these, uh, the main one that I I'm happy about. It says, fix that trying to place a conveyor belt with a pole on the seam between two foundations caused a floor's too steep warning. Bye-bye, sweet meme. That's big, uh, because I like to try to make all my stuff nice and straight, and that, that bug right there was causing, right where two foundations met, if you tried to place the conveyor belt and the, the pole for it right on that seam, it, would, it wouldn't let you place it. So, that's good. They fixed that. Uh... Yeah, go ahead and pause and read these if you want. I'm not going to go through all these, but um, so quality of life. Hub parts are now returned to the player on respawn or passed to other players if possible when their death crate is spawned. Implemented addi additional hand slots for equipment that can be unlocked via milestones. Now, I did get on and uh, I, I did take a look at this one. This is awesome. At, at tier, I've unlocked tier six what was available up until this update and uh which is still just tier six but they've added to it uh i've got four hand slots so you can carry two different weapons or three different weapons and some food or how whatever combination you want and you just roll your mouse wheel to cycle between them that's super handy you don't have to go into your your inventory and keep replacing stuff every time you want to use something so that makes it nice Resource tooltips now show the recipes that are necessary to make them. Connecting conveyor belts with conflicting directions is no longer possible. Reduced download size by approximately 2.5 gigabytes. Added cancel fail sound for dismantling. And moving on to the factory, uh, added power connections to the hub biomass burners. Adjusted hub floor collision so that players can walk onto it without having to jump. That's going to be nice. That, that was kind of annoying. Rename storage container Mark II to industrial storage container. Added a second input and output to the additional storage container, previously storage container Mark II. So that's cool. So you can have uh, two sets of conveyors coming off of it or into it. Updated the visuals of splitters and merger. Adjusted alignments of inputs, outputs on foundry, coal generator, fuel generator, oil refinery, constructor, smelter, and assembler. Man, I wonder, okay, so I think that just, I don't think that they changed the location on them or anything. Uh, they just fixed where you line them up. Realign foundry and smelter inputs to allow for tighter connections. So that's going to help with squeezing more stuff into a uh, tighter space too. Okay, and moving on to vehicles, uh, in addition to having the new vehicle that we talked about already, uh, they updated the truck description, updated the vehicle recording point visuals, uh, resources. They added new cable mesh and texture. Under UI, added an experimental label in the menu and in-game. Overhauled the compass icons and functionality. So I wonder, hopefully, that uh, helps with if you have a bunch of beacons kind of in the same general direction. They're not all just on top of each other. Hopefully that, that does something with that. Added a set of reticles for the color gun. Several Updated several UI elements to scale better with localized text. Updated the milestone message so that longer milestone names fit. Updated the jetpack HUD box to include a fuel counter. Uh, that's going to be kind of cool. Um, change production time and recipes to be more intuitive. Okay, under optimization, this is all just kind of technical stuff, uh, technical jargon. Just pause this if you want to look through that. I'm not really going to go over that. Uh, under world, they adjusted and fixed gameplay and resource nodes in several locations. Northern Forest Limestone Location, Red Jungle Pathway Fixes, Terrain Fixes in West Dune Forest, Lake Forest Jump Path and Gameplay Fixes, Connection to Tunnel Between Grass Fields and Rocky Desert and Desert Canyon. Landscape and visual adjustments in several locations. Rocky Desert, Northern Forest, Desert Canyons, Dune Desert, Titan Forest, Red Bamboo Fields, and Dune Desert. Did a pass over a bunch of foliage interactions, destructible by vehicles and chainsaw, pick up a bull, etc. So uh, I'm, I'm not real clear if that means that they did a pass over the foliage that can be destroyed or that it, 
or that it's now destroyable by these these things. I, I don't know, because you could destroy most of the foliage with chainsaw anyway, so I, I'm not real clear on that, actually. Change the mesh of a small bush primarily used primarily in grass field. Improve cliff textures and material. Boosted the emissive effect on large shell cliffs primarily used in the blue crater. Place better gas perimeter indications on several map locations. Gas areas around the map should be easier to see now. Made the yellow power slug more yellow. Under wildlife, the hogs now have a cooldown on their stagger. Made the alpha hog more aggressive. Made a small fix to the hog panic state. Stingers are the spider-like creature. Now drop alien organs. Added LODs for the stinger. Expanded the amount of resources lizard doggo can find. Added new sounds for the space giraffe, tick, whale, and penguin. And then under narrative, they added tiers of research milestones into the unlock dialogue. So that is a pretty big update, guys. Uh, they're supposed to be, I believe, coming with pa uh, tier seven in June. So uh, we're halfway through May already, and we've got our first big update. Uh, everything else up to this point has been smaller patches and bug fixes. So uh, th they added quite a bit of stuff, did a lot of bug fixes, which is nice. Uh, I think uh, I think Coffee Stain's doing a real good job on keeping this game updated and trying to tackle all the bugs in a timely manner. Um, I mean, there's going to be some people probably out there that complain that they're not doing it fast enough, but that's just the nature of early access. So that is going to be the late April update number one uh, review of the patch notes, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I will see you guys on the next one. Later.